Hello everyone, welcome to Business Analytics Programming Lecture 9. In this lecture, we want to talk about one of the important aspects of the programming called Object Oriented Programming or OOP. This concept comes from a programming style that uh, we define objects. The objects are created from main classes. So we have classes versus objects. Objects. So the classes are the piece of code that we write and we det determine the property and the actions that for example our code should take. Let's say in the programming of the game like the Mario that we have each Mario, each character that we have they do some actions like the jumping up collecting coins and those kind of stuff so the class provides some property of the these characters that we have and then when we have the classes we can create some instances that we have so these instances we call them objects so this object oriented program is kind of uh, making copy from classes and creating the objects that we have uh, in easy way let's say we have cars we, cate we define category of the cars these cars they have some properties they have the models they have the year that they have made and uh, those kind of stuff then uh, for the, this general car, we write some function. For example, the function that defines how we get the mileage and uh, how how much gas they consume per per mileage, and we write the general function for them. Then we apply this function for each special case of the classes. For example, the car could be uh, BMW, could be Ford, and anything. So. The class is a, a real application or real classification of the items in the world and object or instances is a sample of the real thing that we have. So these are the two definition. So basically class is a prototype or the model that uh, is a summarized uh, real world or real application of the item that we have for example a car is a class that uh, it could describe class of the vehicles that uh, they can transfer passengers or they have a certain capacity and the shape so car is a class that we have and then object is a copy or instance of the class that we have for example if we have a car class then the Ford is an object or instance of this car and then Honda is another object of this car when we have attribute the attribute is a variable that we have inside of the class like the name the model and so on for the car class that we have and then method is basically a function that we have inside of the class so we have class object attribute and method the attributes and methods are defined inside of the class so each class has attributes and method and a copy of the class is called object uh, let's review again the class is the general description of the item that we have for example cars each car has a shape it has a capacity it has a all kind of the description that we can have we call those as an attribute and the method is a basically a function we already seen the different kind of the functions that we have like the taking a sum for example method or function basically they are same 
but this method is applied inside of the class using the attributes that we have now object is a copy of the class that um, <coughs> we, ca we call inherent inheritance property whenever we create object or instance from the class it uh, it inherent all the method and attributes of the class you are going to see the example so these are the four t terms that we will have in this lecture now let's start by creating a class the keyword class is used to de define the class and then we have the the name of the class uh, you can use capital letter that's not required but it's recommended so here we have a class of the dog and you can see there is an open parenthesis close the parenthesis and then colon and then we have dog string which is an optional thing now you can see we are using three diff function three diff that uh, is used to define the function you, we already seen it in the previous lecture and you can see the first function has a strange definition you can see there is a underline underline in it underline underline and the open the parentheses and the close parentheses and colon so this in it stands for the initiation and uh, it starts by the diff a space double underscores and then in it and then again double underscore open the parenthesis close the parenthesis uh, you can see there is a self uh, as a first argument of this method this self is a required it doesn't matter what kind of the class is you are defining in the int method you have to use self as a first argument and then we have the comma and multiple uh, ar arguments that we have these arguments are the depending on the type of the class that you have for example for the dog class we are defining the name and the age so each dog has a name and age and then again a dog dog string that we have so dog string is a optional thing you can have it or you can remove it now here we have self dot name equal to name that means we are assigning the variable name to something called attribute so a self dot name is the attribute of the class of the dog and we are assigning the variable name to this attribute so we are creating the attribute of the class dog and then also we are doing the same for the variable age so we are almost done with the defining of the class the next one is the defining the methods or the functions that applies for this class so we have a def we have a space then the name of the function or method and the open the parenthesis close the parenthesis and the colon the only argument that we have for all the functions or for all the method inside of the class is self so self is a kind of variable or kind of attributes that carries all the arguments together for example uh, in the function seat you can see the self is the only argument that we have uh, in the function seat so the sit and the rollover are the two methods or functions that we are calling we are creating inside of the class and we are using the self as an argument that you you can see and then we are doc, having a doc string and then we have a print function we are saying self.name so this attribute when we call self as a input argument for the function seat self.name 
automatically comes to inside of the, this function so this becomes we can treat them as a variable and then we can apply all kind of the functions that we have talked in the previous lecture so for example we can apply dot title that means we are capitalizing the first letter of this one and then and uh, we are concatenating this with the uh, is now silly and then we closing the parentheses the same thing can happen for the next method that we have so the only argument that we have for all the functions for all the methods inside of the class is just self remember this one is required the first one is required it doesn't matter what kind of a function you are defining uh, or what kind of a class you are defining you have to use the uh, init now let's have another class the class of the car so as we said we have a def init so this is requirement is required for every class that we define and then we have the variable self the argument self and then we have three more variables or arguments that we have it's a make model and the year of the car and then here we are defining the attributes of the car the class car that we have self dot make is equal to make so the variable make becomes the attribute of the make and model becomes the attribute of model and the same thing happened for the year now we have more function here more method that we have it's a get descriptive name so the only argument that we have is a self and then we have a message of the long name that converts the year to the string so self dot year is the year of the model and then we convert it to a string and then we concatenate it with the make the factory of the company the factory that made the car and the concatenate this by the self model so model all of them are going to be converted to a string and then we are printing the string uh, we are returning the string that is title that, that is applied the title function it that means the first letter is uh, uh, capitalized and then this is the example that we how we create an object so the object car it has a free input remember we have a three arguments here so exactly we are using the three those three arguments we are not using self we don't need to use it when we are creating object so object is the uh, to create object we use the class the name of the class the name of the class is car it starts by the capital c and then we open the parentheses close the parentheses and we use the all the variables that we have exactly in the same order that excluded by the self so self is excluded but the rest is used so we have the audi we have a4 and 2016 this create a new object we call my new car now for this object that we can have we can use any function any method that we have defined inside of the car so to call the function or method we just need to put a dot and the name of the function that we have so if this there is a self you don't need to put it so just open the parentheses close the parentheses type the name of the object dot the name of the method that you are looking for and you want to apply so if you apply this you are going to get uh, year 2016 so it becomes 2016 Audi A4 as a result that we have so this is a result the same way that uh, we have in the previous example now also you can do a uh, initial value or the default value for the attributes for example here we have a, the same class that we just talked you can put the default value or the initial value for for some of the attributes inside of the init so uh, odometer reading is equal to zero so this attribute is uh, the value of the zero and then we have another method here read 
odometer and uh, it says this car and the self dot odometer so the value of this one is miles on it so this is a converted to a string and then concatenated by combined with the uh, strings and then we are gonna print them so let's create a new one so again we are using that all uh, this the same object that we have created the same kind of the machine that we had the same kind of car that we had and then we are getting the descriptive name which is a this function and then we are also calling a, a my new this object dot read automator so we are applying this method and the answer you can see the second one is this car has a zero mile on it so you can see because this is the default value zero then we can uh, uh, you are going to see this as a zero the second question is the the next question is going to be how we can change the value that we have put here for example if the values increases from zero to ten how can we update this value the answer is that we have several ways one of them is that we directly change the value of when we create an instance of instance from the class that we have or we can apply a method inside of the class to work on the updating the uh, va value of the attributes that we have so let's have the example we want to change the value of the attributes directly so here again we are the, using the same class that is a car and the value that we are providing is uh, for this attribute is 23 so you are, you, we, we are using the name of the object dot the name of the the name of the attribute the name of the uh, attribute is updated to 23 and then when you print it you can see that uh, the car of, has uh, 23 miles on it so this is one way so you are ju just directly defining that the object and then for the object you are updating that uh, attributes that you are looking for so this is one way the second way is that you define a function and the function has an input of this uh, at, uh, attributes that you have so you can see uh, here we are defining another method uh, that updates the value of the uh, one of the attributes so it has a self and the mileage so it has a second one more variable and then uh, we, we are putting the mileage as a, another attribute uh, we are updating the value of the at, this attribute by this value so this value is as assigned to this attribute so again we are using the same object that we had we are printing so that's uh, just descriptive name that we have already seen and then we are using the update method which has been defined here and then you can see it has a two parameter but we don't need to provide we, uh, you just need to provide the value for mileage no need for self and you can see we provide the 23 and you can see uh, applying the read the mo uh, odometer this function provides the exactly the same as the one that we updated by hand. Now, we can also use uh, change the up, uh, change or update the value by at the attributes the same way that we have. For example, we are increasing the odometer by uh, whenever that uh, uh, gives the mileage, and we are updating the value value of this attribute so you can have multiple functions inside of the class so for this class we, this is a required font method this is the one that we defined this is the one we defined so basically we have four function four methods inside of the car now the inherent or inherence is the property that we have inside of the class so whenever we create any object from the class all the properties including the attributes and methods are applicable to the object that we have created 
So this is a very nice property of the class that we never had it before. Uh, so once once we create an object from a class, all the methods and attributes can be applied to the object. All the methods and functions and attributes inside of class is automatically applicable to the objects that we have created. So again, let's have the uh, advanced uh, topic. So here we have one class called car, and then we are creating another class or subclass, which is electric car. So we have the car, and we have the electric car which is a subset of the car you know the car can be a gas based or the electric car so here we are defining another class which is a subclass of the car uh, the first thing is that whenever we create a subclass the parent class the, the class that has a describes the general case but the child case child class is the specialized class so the one the general class is called parent class the specialized class is called child class the parent class should be available in the child class so making available we have two options the first one is to just leave the copy all the code of the car class that we have or the parent class that we have here the example is a car class so the car class should be since the syntax of the car class should be available this well, the second option is importing that we will talk at the end of this lecture now when we create a child class the name of the parent class should be given or provided to the child class inside of the parentheses in the first line of the class so we have the uh, class the keyword class and the name of the class that we have or subclass and then inside of the parentheses we have the parent class so you can see this car which is a parent class is uh, typed here now so far we are defining a class or subclass or child class from uh, which is a specialized class of this uh, parent class so this is slightly different from the this class because we are typing the name of this sub sub uh, parent class inside of the subclass and then we have a doc string that uh, this as we said is optional you can have it or you can drop it now the subclass inherits all the properties all the attributes and the methods of the parent class but we have to tell that exactly that's happened so uh, we write a diff in it so Again, the same way that we had for the parent class, for we have the set that for the child, and then we have the self. So this three, basically this def double under underscore any double underscore open the parentheses self is required for the child too, and then the the variables that we have, which is the same as the parent class here. So we have the year model manufacturing manufacturer but you can have more if you want uh, you can uh, define it here we have the super open the parentheses dot in it uh, manufacturer model model and year so this line says this super ref refers to is a it means super class basically this is refers to the parent class which is a car and says run this init method 
using these three attributes. What does this mean? This means that manufacturer as a, as a variable becomes the attribute, model becomes attribute, and year becomes attribute. So that's the way. And then if you have a new variables, you can define it under the way that we had for the class car. So you can define it as a self dot and so on. So that's the way that you can do it. Now, uh, so these are the, here we just use the same arguments that we had for the parent class and we just need to call the init of the parent class so super open the parentheses close parentheses dot init then the arg arguments that we have is call it forces the python to call the init function of the parent class which is a car class now we can create the object from this one so the name of the object the name of the class and the name of the manufacturer the model and the year so this becomes an object or an instance of this class the subclass and then we can use the all the attributes all the methods defined in the parent class so get descriptive name you can see we have not defined here but we are using it because it has been defined in the, in the parent class so that's the way that we can use it now we can have a initial values or new attributes so here you can see that we are defining a new attribute called battery which is uh, the parent cl parent class doesn't have it and then we are defining a function just based on the uh, a special for this class which is a child class and uh, the parent class does not have it the same way that we call this function in the parent class we can call in the child class so this is a electric car which is an object of the this one and then we are applying a get descriptive which is uh, available in the car class and then we are applying a describe the battery the battery is a function or method that we just create this class and we have applied so we cannot apply this one for the uh, classes that has created for this class uh, sorry so that means we cannot apply this method for the objects created from this class but we can apply it for this one you apply this one for the class instances that are created from car class you are going to get the error because this function this method is not defined inside of the car so that's the thing that we have to pay attention and you can do the overriding the same way that uh, we did it except that you have to use the sig exactly the same name for the child class the method that you are defining should have an exact name otherwise you may get an error um, basically you are not overriding it so if you want to override you just need to use a similar name that you have in the parent class and then the next one is uh, importing the classes that we have so you have to just save them uh, as a module or just provide a name so the name of the file that we have is a car and then we have the from the name of the car which uh, uh, the name of the file so from car import class car now that means all of the codes that inside of the car class is available so here you can see there is example that we have created instance from the car so this is an instance or object that we have then I can apply all the methods inside of the car, this car class. For example, get descriptive or the update model odometer and so on. So all of the function inside of the car is available here. So basically it's equal to copying every code inside of the car class. And then you can see other functions are available and you can use it here. Now you can insert multiple car, uh, multiple classes in the one module so here here we have a car 
electric car and then both are saved as a module car so you can insert from car insert car or from car insert electrical electric car or you can insert both saying from car import car from car import electric car so that's the you can use for example this is how we can import them and that means all of the function inside of the car as well as the electric car are available here you can use it and uh, also you can just you can just insert, insert in, entire module in, entire module by saying import car and uh, you can access all of them so in this case you have to specify car dot the name of the uh, class that you have so this is uh, exactly but here there is a difference when from car import the car so you just mm, define the name of the car name of the class that you have that's it. but here you have to say car dot car car dot electric car that you have so this is a way that you can use the uh, modules that you have and then you can import all the classes just saying module name the name of the file that you have saved all the document import asterisk so that's imports all the available classes inside of the module we have seen import before but this is again we can apply for the classes that they are saved as a uh, module so basically module name is the name of the file that you gave them so that's the end of this lecture thank you